Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to a player review and a gap this week, which was pot. And actually, you know, I did pot yesterday and took a loss in it. You can see here that I looked at this to short. I was actually up money in it initially. I'll go over the play from the morning. And I mean, I, I was up like 30 some cents, so I didn't take any out. Um, and, and it flipped, flipped. And then I took the loss and I was actually up money in it. It went down to 29 here. You can see it. So then I didn't redo it. Okay. It went over the high of the day. It rallied. I did not go back after it. I took one loss here. This was yesterday. This was a great gap though. It rated very high yesterday and I loved it to work. And I'll go over why in a minute. But anyways, look, work today. So then I did it today. And it had a fantastic move today. So let's go over the one from today. Okay. Well, actually, let's go over the one from yesterday first. Hold on, let me get this stuff out of here. Okay. So here was yesterday. Yesterday I took it, I was in. I was in right here. In in this bar, beautiful entry. Boop, stop right over 75. Took it all the way down and was up. I saw this here, but, you know, I really didn't think this was a double bottom, but I'm realizing more and more that something, if it's within a penny, is actually a double bottom. So 2901, 29, bounced, and I did not take it out. Up this money, didn't take it out, and I actually did lower the stop, though. I actually ended up lowering the stop then over the this area here later than I didn't keep it over the high of the day because I saw what it was doing, and I thought, you know what, if it holds this area here, I'll stick with it. And if it doesn't, then I want to be out. So that was a good thing. So then I actually lowered the stop then and lost in it, but it was still a, it was still a loss. It rallied then yesterday. And I don't play failures. You could play failures. You could play everything that fails. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't teach people to do that. But there is a set point when I know something's going to fail. I can see it. And then I call a failure. So then I never redid it. Okay, this is too late for this to be rallying over the high of the day. So the good thing about gaps is when they work, you're up money quickly, and when they don't work, you're 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 right out. So then I I got was out of this. Okay, so then that was that. Got off of it. Never redid it yesterday. End of story. Here, wait. Let's look at the bigger picture here in the five for today. So this one worked this morning right out of the gate. I was doing other things this morning. I did two other nice plays this morning. I made money in them. I was up for the day. I was looking for something else to do. I don't know why, but I was really just looking for something else to do today. I wanted like something else to do. I was already up money on the day. And I said, you know what? I've got money booked here. Let's get something else going. So then I saw this and I said, oh, I really like this. And then I decided to do this. And then I put the stop here over 41. Came down here into lunch and I said, oh, I think I'm going to lower the stop now because the minutes or the rate decision was out this afternoon. I said, I think I'm going to lower the stop here over 30 something. Came down in here, couldn't break 30. I got out of half. So I booked quick out of half out of this just to protect myself because I was ready up for the day. And then I thought, well, this doesn't want to break 30. I'm not sure if it's going to break 30. Let me wait. So I, then I was in half, rallied back up here, and I saw what it was doing. And I also saw the market. I took my stop out. To see if it was going to hold, I was having my hand in the trigger was going to kill it. I was absolutely, absolutely going to kill it here. It went up here when it did this here, and I'll show you in the 15 minute. I ended up putting the stop then very, very, very tight over 45. So that I have half, okay? I still have half the trade, and I'm looking for a target. The first target was $29.50. The next target was $29. $29 was a dream target. It actually got there. So let's go to the 15. So now remember, I'm in half only. So this is 1245-ish. I actually gave it a little bit, a couple extra pennies, but I had to book some in this. And I figured, well, if I'm just in half and the whole thing goes, I'm still going to get paid. When this heart had started to happen here, do you see this heli formation? It was basing, 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 basing. And I saw what the market was doing. I added to this here. Got back in and put my stop back over the same place I had it before, which was 31, where I had lowered it was back in full size and under 30, 10, it broke and fell off a cliff and fell into here. And I didn't even get this whole thing. I mean, I was not in this to the close. I'll show you. 
but it was still a beautiful tray. And here's where it fell. Actually, wait, let's go to 30 first. It's a one minute here. So here was where it was, did the retest, did the retest and showed and proved that it was going to work and then started to drop in here. And the capitulation really came when it went under the low of the day, which was 29.80. Okay. 29.80 here, down in here. I actually got out of half because I had added back in here. I kept half of the rest to try to hold it, put the stop over here, got the last drop in here, and then I was out of this in here. I did not get even this last 25 cents. So, I mean, it, it was beautiful. I mean, it just worked great, but this is getting very, very late. Somewhere in here between 3.15 and 3.30-ish, you got to look to be getting profitable in your trades. Typically, stuff will even end up rallying back once people cover it. This thing never did. This thing fell into the close. This thing is lower tomorrow. This thing is gap, going to gap down tomorrow. In fact, let's look at it. Yep. This is, this is going to continue tomorrow. Absolutely. Anyways. This was a great trade today. If you did it out of the gate, which somebody actually, you know, one of my traders who did the class, he watches as a continuation. You can make a living on continuation gaps from my system. You could do the new gaps on the day, and if they don't work on the day, then you do them the next day. I mean, literally, you could just make a trading plan of the continuations. Tons of volume in this today, 68 million people. I knew this was a great gap yesterday. Did the right thing by holding it to target yesterday, but it didn't break. Got out quick. And then went back and looked at it today. And it was a beautiful trade and could have even squeezed more out of it there. Didn't even get the last 25 cents. But, I mean, I, I had a good day and everything's fine. So you can't really complain. 25 cents, you get, you know, more than a dollar and something. It's, it's a happy day. So anyways, this is Melissa with thestockswish.com. If you're interested in learning how to trade gaps, the next gap class is this weekend, August 3rd and 4th. If you're interested in information about the class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Again, gaps do not fill themselves. This gap yesterday that failed was a rally of retracement. The gap continued the next day here today, and I played it. Do you see the power of these gaps? This gap was an excellent gap, and it continued today. Even though it didn't work this day, you don't buy things like this. It's not going to fill this gap. This is a very damaging thing. The chart is lower. It's going to break 29 tomorrow. So you've got to understand the bigger picture here, what's going on with these overall charts. It's so important. So important to trade with the trend and do the right things. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.